So, uh, I remember you saying that you hated the grading part about, um, uh, being a teacher. Yeah. What did you most enjoy about it? I had Mexican students in the University of Arizona. A lot of Mexicans are there. Uh, we were told we needed to, um, fail 20% of the students because there's not, not enough room for all the students who want to be there. It was also a playgirl, playboy school for a number of people from Hollywood. There, you can major, for example, in horseback riding, if you can imagine that. So someone can say, you know, I couldn't come to class because my horse threw me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I, first of all, the inequality of, of the things that were, were going on. And I could not finally left because the, it was unbearable. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people, I, I taught remedial English, mm -hmm. uh, which people have to do when they're first time you teach uh, writing or literature. And I found that my, the students didn't know where a semicolon was or didn't know how to diagram a sentence, which is meaningless. And they were put down, and, and you got tests that you had to administer that you felt were crazy in the first place that you never had, had to take it. And I had two students in um, remedial English. This is supposed to be people who um, have a foreign background, and also people who have uh, weren't given enough grammar. Grammar was very important then. Um, and two people in that course are now Hollywood script writers. I had, a, I had a student in uh, uh, Kansas who was a machinist who came back in his 30s, which you didn't do then. And I said to him, Max, his name was Max Yo. I said, Max, you are a wonderful writer. You, you should, he said, you know, I don't, don't have any background. I said, it doesn't matter what, what you're saying and how you're saying it is absolutely far-reaching. And he became the novel laureate of Topeka, Kansas. Um, he dedicated his first book to me. So these people who were considered insignificant, you know, missing in some way, proved to be marvelous people. Just, it, you had to recognize their ability. And so the grade is meaningless. It doesn't, it, and, and also it divides people. And, and also, it makes people memorize stuff, which is crazy. It, because you memorize something doesn't mean you understand what you're memorizing. So, um, you know, that, that was it. Yeah, that's kind of... I've also thought about that before. Like, the school system makes you memorize things, but all everything that you memorize, some most people just memorize it then forget it because they have to memorize something else. And it's basically just in increments, and then uh, by the end of it, you really have not learned anything. That's right. Unless you really wanted it to and were passionate about it. I hated the administration. I love the students. And therefore, um, I, I, you know, I, I, when it came back for me to finish my degree, I went to, I went to, to Tufts, and that's when my sight went. So that was the irony that I finally, after 16 years, I got a chance to do the degree, which I, I finished all the coursework. I finished everything I needed, the dissertation. And um, the books they assigned me, I could no longer read. So, yeah. yeah.